factoring. Who doesn't like factoring? So we have 16a squared plus 40a plus 25 divided by 4t minus 4 times 2t minus 2 divided by t squared plus 9t plus 14. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, remember when we're multiplying, we're just going to multiply across. But what we can do even before that is let's factor this. Let's simplify this as easy as possible. Yes? Um, you, you connected to um, different numbers. Oh, I did? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so let's rewrite this. So 1648 plus 25. Oh, wow. That's why I was really confused. Okay, so sorry. Let's. This then becomes 3a squared minus 10a minus 8. And that's. Oh, man, I totally messed up. Okay, so this becomes. Oh, it's divided by 4a plus 5 divided by a squared minus 8a plus 16, all right? Okay, so now what I'm going to do, Sadiq, is remember when we divide fractions, the simple way that we like to apply divide fraction was to multiply by the reciprocal of the divisor, right? Yes, you yes. multiply by the reciprocal of the divisor. So now I'm just going to rewrite this as 16a squared plus 40a plus 25 divided by 3a squared minus 10a minus 8 times the reciprocal of my divisor, which is a squared minus 8a plus 16, divided by 4a plus 5. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, on a big problem like this, what I would do is I would, I would use a lot of extra work. And with all my extra work, what I'd do is I'd write out each numerator and denominator of each one and see how I can, if at all, simplify it. So the first one, I'd have 16a squared plus 40a plus 25. On the bottom, I'd have 3a squared minus 10a minus 8. Over here, I'll write, write a squared minus 8a plus 16. And over here, I have 4a plus 5. All right. Now, if I was going to be taking a test, I'd probably get um, a little bit crazy, Sam, of trying to factor all of these. So I'll start at the first one and see, make sure it's the simplest form. So out of all the red ones, it looks like this would be the easiest to start off with. So can I factor this any further, or does this look like it's in pretty simple form? Simple form, right? Done. Now let's go to this one. a squared minus 8a plus 16. I can rewrite that as? Anybody know the factored form of that? a minus 4, a minus 4. You can write a minus 4 squared, or we can just write a minus 4 times a minus 4. Good. Okay. Now let's go to this one, 3a squared minus 10a minus 8. So we need to factor that, right? So we at least know our first two factors. You could do the AC method, you know, with the diamond and multiply that, which I've done before. But let's see if we can maybe get this a little bit simpler. Um, so I can say what two numbers multiply to give me negative 8, but then add to give me 10, where my two coefficients have to be my first two terms, have to be 3a and a, right? They have to be. Right? You can't have any two other two numbers that are going to multiply to give you 3a squared. So the first two have to be 3a and a, and then the last two have to multiply to give you negative 8. So it could be negative 8 and positive 1, or it could be negative 4 and positive 3. Right? On 2. Right? So if I look at this, which times and when I multiply, am I going to get middle terms that's going to be in negative 10a? Well, by using process of elimination, You guys hopefully will be able to check my answer and see that that is the correct factor form. Okay? Because why? How did I know that? Well, what I did is I did 3a times negative 4, which is negative 12. And then I did 2 times a, which is positive 2. Well, negative 12a, sorry, plus 10a or plus 2a is negative 10a. Then I look at this and I notice this is a perfect, this has a couple perfect squares in it, doesn't it? I have 16, that's a perfect square. 25, that's a perfect square, right? And then if I did 2, if I did um, 2 times your, uh, your perfect square, so 4 times 5, which would be 20, times 2 equals 40, hey, this is a perfect square trinomial. Which means I can write this as 4a plus 5 times 4a plus 5. It's a perfect square trinomial, meaning it's really 4a plus 5 squared. That's the factor form. How do I know that? Well, we guys, check. 4a times 4a is 16a squared, yes. 
Yes. Yeah. 5 times 5 is 25. 4a times 5 is 28. 4a times 5 is 28. 28 plus 28 is 48. So now, let's write in all of our factored forms. So our first factored form we had went to here. So I have 4a plus 5 times 4a plus 5 divided by my next factored form, which is 3a plus 2 times a minus 4 times my next factored form, which is a minus 4 times a minus 4. And then my last factored form, which is 4a plus 5. Now, now what you notice, guys, between each one of my expressions, I'm multiplying. So that means I can cross, I can uh, divide all of these terms. I can rewrite this as one big all multiplication problem. And that's helpful because now I know that the 4a divided by the 4a plus 5 divided by the 4a plus 5 is going to give you 1. Um, let's see, I know this a minus 4 divided by this a minus 4, that's going to equal 1. And that's just going to leave you with a final expression of 4a plus 5 times a minus 4 divided by 3a plus 2. So that would be my simplified form to work. Okay? That's it. So guys, the best way that I like to tackle these, especially the ones that have such large uh, 